So much celebration. KSI's Rafer Weigel, he joins us live from Miramar at Ale Smith Brewing, where he's at another watch party, and that's going that's going off right now. It's packed, and I love the stories, the people that you're interviewing. It's just been so heartwarming, too. It's just so emotional. Yeah, Teresa, you know, this is bigger than basketball. I've done an informal poll. There's probably about a thousand people in here. I'd say one out of every ten actually went to San Diego State. The, the feeling, the energy, and the excitement around this team isn't just about the basketball team. It's about the city and the moment of civic pride that this is bringing to our region. And I found two very famous San Diego State fans who didn't go there. Look who I happen to run into. It's TV's Allie Wagner and her husband, Trevor. How you doing, Allie? I'm great. We are so excited. I have been nervous all day, bringing that energy, ready for the Aztecs to do well tonight. And Trevor, what uh, you, you're tagging along. I know you have to tag along here, but what is this exciting for you? Oh, I grew up here. I'm born and raised here just like Ali is. So to see our home team go this far, I was right there with her. I wasn't in tears like she was, but I was pretty close. And now, and then he brings up a good point. You're a native, though. Even though you didn't go to that school, I did. You know, I apologize. Even I though he didn't go. I graduated in 07. Uh, this is my original shirt from 2003, Rafer. Well, that I completely blew this interview by not doing my research, Allie Wagner. I've worked with you for four months, and I'm I didn't know that. I'm you. So why? But then th explain the excitement that your fan base is feeling. Because it has been a long time coming. Steve Fisher used to hand out tickets. I remember when members of the basketball team lived in the apartment above me at San Diego State. You used to be able to walk down to the bottom level at the AHOS, no problem. What has grown here, what Brian Dutcher, the head coach, has done over the last several years, it is magical. Getting to this point is such a big deal for the city of San Diego. Everybody today is an Aztec fan. And when you see this crowd, and we can pan out and kind of show this crowd a little bit how big it is, how does that how does it make you feel? Everybody say go Aztecs! I gotta point out that woman right there has been here since 12 noon. Why did you get here since 12 noon? What, what was the question? When, when you got here at noon, right? Sure did. Yes. Why? why? Because we wanted to make sure we secured a table. We knew it would be super busy. We were here last week, and it was very crazy. So we had to make sure the party was ready for the Aztecs. Awesome. Thank you very much, Melinda. Now I'm going to talk to my buddy Alton real quick. Alton, come over here. You got your daughter. You went to the school. You were there in 2011 during the Kawhi Leonard years. What's this meeting uh, moment mean to you? I mean, it's huge. We kind of saw I came in 2006, and we've really blown up since. So it's, it's a huge moment. I met my wife there, so even more meaning. So this is about bigger. This is bigger than basketball. This is about your family uh, coming together over a very special moment. Oh, it's way, it's way bigger than basketball. We're all about San Diego State. Die hard. All right, I appreciate you. What's your daughter's name? This is Allie, and Allie, Allie has some advice. She says take the Aztecs plus seven and a half. Allie, and then we got another Allie. We got two Allies. Great name, best name. She's a future Aztec. I can feel it already. So, and the last question, because you're a former sports person. Thank you, Alden. Yeah. And and you are now doing news. The thing that I like to convey about this is that this is bigger than sports. This is really more of a news story. It's about us being on the map. Can you express why you feel that way? Because this is one of the biggest sporting events in San Diego's history. We are playing for a national championship. It reminds you of when uh, the Chargers were playing in the Super Bowl. Yeah, well, we're doing the national anthem. So out of respect, guys, I'm going to send it back to you now so that we can stay quiet.